severe weather threat doesn't end after tonight. There's a risk through the rest of the holiday weekend, extending into Monday for places including Chicago, D.C., and Philly. And again, you wouldn't know it by looking at any of them right now. We're getting off to a great start in many locations here across the country. It's, it's beautiful here in New York City. So, yeah, a lot of the East Coast able to enjoy a really nice start to the holiday weekend, but it could turn quickly and it could end very differently. This is what we expect for Sunday and into Memorial Day itself. And wouldn't you know it, we don't have any four out of five threats, but we do have this three out of five threat from St. Louis, which I just mentioned, into Cincinnati. And Sunday is an interesting day because today we're sort of waiting for these storms to fire up and eventually get going, right? Tomorrow, I think we're going to start off with some storminess that lingers from tonight into tomorrow morning. And then we could get a bit of a break and then yet another round of maybe more convective type of storms as we move through our Sunday. And then Monday, that threat continues to push east. Luckily, it's, it's just a two out of five threat, but unfortunately, it's still there. So let's take a deeper dive into what's going on for tomorrow. And again, all of these towns that we've got highlighted are in that three out of five threat, starting over here with St. Louis. You've also got Quincy on the sort of northwestern portion of the circle, uh, Effingham, Indianapolis. And remember, we've got the Indy 500 taking place tomorrow starting at noon. So this doesn't bode well for that. You've got the potential for uh, tornadoes, damaging wind, and large hail right back in the mix as we head into Sunday. And then you look further north, and sort of on the periphery of all of this is Chicago, one of the bigger cities in the nation. So again, the fact that it's a holiday weekend, you've got a big population area that is in a bullseye or at least close to a bullseye, and that doesn't mix very well. We've also got a flash flood threat, so we've got to watch out for that. Through the Midwest and into the Ohio Valley, it's a two out of four threat. Whenever you have these severe storms that come through, obviously what grabs the headlines are the things that we just showed you, and for good reason, right? Tornadoes damaging, you've got damaging winds, also hail, but severe storms also produce heavy rain, and they dump a lot of rain down quickly. And so for that very reason, flooding is a concern and will be a concern moving forward. We still have a damaging wind potential, too, here through the Midwest. And some of these spots, uh, again, have seen rounds of, of bad weather themselves. It's not just the central plains. It's also parts of the Midwest. 8 a.m., a heads up. You see that line of storms coming on through. There would be some very gusty, straight-line winds with that. And then as we go throughout the rest of the day, you got to watch out for what fires up back here. I think that's where we could really start to see the secondary line of severe weather fire up. And that's where we could get some more, st uh, some more tornadoes, some more hail, the, uh, the real bad damaging winds. So there it is, essentially, round one, round two. This would be more in the morning time. This would be in the afternoon time. And uh, we've also got wind shear, that twisting with wind and height. And so that lends itself to extra juice for the p uh, potential for tornadic development.